What's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming and in my hands right here is one of the most powerful gaming phones, if not the most powerful gaming phone ever created. This is the Nubia Red Magic 5S. Just came out a couple of days ago. It has everything from a built-in fan that cools it down, just like some of the best gaming computers out there right now. It has the fastest display ever created on any gaming phone. 144 hertz, which makes your gameplay the smoothest you will ever get on a game like Call of Duty Mobile, and up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, making it one of the most powerful phones point blank ever created. An absolutely magnificent gaming phone, and in today's video, I want to show you guys some hand cam gameplay with the game Call of Duty Mobile. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video, and if you want to learn more about this phone, then I'll leave a link down below in the description where I posted an entire review back on September 2nd of this phone. We tested everything from the camera to so much more. Hey, uh, leave a like if you guys do enjoy this video, and subscribe for more Call of Duty Mobile content. Let's get right into this, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. So, here we are. This is the Red Magic 5S in all of its glory. As you can see, I have the soft, clear case on my phone that the company provides in the box. When I switch that little red button on, it's going to turn us into gaming mode. And from this mode, I can actually open Call of Duty from directly within that app. With this, there's a lot of cool settings that we're going to talk about a little bit later in this video. One of them being a screen recording, which I just turned on there. You can actually record internal audio, which is fantastic. I want to show you that I do have a very low level account for this video. I'm not on my main accounts. I'm on a low level account with all max graphics and max FPS, might I add, because I want to show you guys sort of what you're going to experience if you're a low level player and you're getting into Call of Duty for the first time and this is your gaming phone of choice. Now, Obviously, I might be able to get better gameplay if I was on my main accounts. I'm also sitting in a very awkward position when I'm recording this, and it's kind of hard to play. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> but it's okay. I, that's besides the points. I want to talk about this game overall when we're actually using the Red Magic 5S. So first off, I think we should probably talk about the very first experiences that you'll have when you're about to play Call of Duty with this phone. And that's going to be that game mode or gaming mode. I think they call it like game space. I believe that's what they call it. And that gives us a whole different selection of settings that we can turn on and off to optimize our Call of Duty mobile gameplay. And this is for every other game as well. You first saw that I turned on a screen recording with internal audio. Hugely important for anybody that's watching this who might want to go into YouTube or maybe Twitch or other stuff like that. You have the ability to record internal audio and that makes your quality of video much, much better. Next, you can turn off all notifications, period. Even if you're connected to cell service and you're playing on cell service, you can actually turn off your ringer, turn off messages, turn off everything. So if you're making a very intense gameplay, you're trying to beat a world record in like Battle Royale, for example, you can't have any interruptions, you don't have to worry about that. You can turn off all of those notifications and then you won't have to worry about that at all all and then the coolest thing about that whole gaming experience thing is turning on and off the fan yes there is an internal fan in this phone it's one of the only phones ever that actually has that and it's such a cool feature that actually works really really well it's not just like a gimmick and they're like oh yeah this fan cools it down like a computer i mean a computer works so why not the phone no it actually does Okay, I don't have the exact stats, but they've shown that it decreases by a certain amount and uh, you can actually feel with your hands that the fan actually cools you down as well as the actual phone itself. So like, okay, the best way I can describe this is like if you're somebody who, you know, plays intense games like Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG Mobile or Fortnite Mobile, other games like that, right, and your, your hand sweats a lot, I am a victim of this, right? I sweat a ton when I get into intense situations. That fan will actually sort of cool you down a bit and it makes you sweat less. Like this phone doesn't overheat at all. It's pretty much the best at preventing you from overheating. So like, you know, you're basically gonna have the best experience if you do sweat a lot 
when you're using this phone. It works even better than the Asus ROG Phone and the Asus ROG Phone 2. I haven't tested out the Asus ROG Phone 3, don't have that, but I have the first two. And I can confidently say that this has a much better job at actually controlling the temperature of the phone than those phones. Now in the backgrounds, the phone that I have here is actually the lower end model, right? This has 8 gigs of RAM. It doesn't have a ridiculous amount, but it runs Call of Duty Mobile perfectly fine. Okay, I mean, you can see I have everything turned on to the absolute max. Max graphics, max FPS, everything to the absolute max. And even with the lowest end model, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, it works perfectly fine. So that goes to show that you don't necessarily need to have the max version of this if you're considering getting the Red Magic 5S, and specifically if you are on a budget. Now, I want to be very, very clear here. If you're watching this and you happen to have the Red Magic 5G, a phone that didn't come out too long ago, you don't need to get this phone, okay? They are very, very similar in their specs, and this is just kind of like a refresh of the Red Magic 5G with just a bit of refinement to the phone itself. So if you don't have the Red Magic 5G at all and you're looking for a new gaming phone, yes, you might want to consider getting this one, but if you already have the Red Magic 5G, you don't necessarily need to get this thing. This has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which is perfectly average. It's not absolutely spectacular. There are gaming phones out there that have a better, uh, better battery life, I would say. But then again, I would go. It would be hard pressed to say that you would be playing a game like Call of Duty Mobile for up to like six or seven hours straight without taking a break at all, right? There might be a select few people that do that, but you can get a solid like you know seven, eight hours nonstop of Call of Duty Mobile gameplay before you have to end up charging this thing again. So hey, that's perfectly fine for me, and I'm pretty sure for the vast majority of people watching this that would go the same as well. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the camera and other stuff like that because I already talked about that on September 2nd when I did a full and complete review of this phone. But to talk about Call of Duty Mobile specifically, I mean, we gotta first talk about this display. I mean, the display is fantastic. Yes, there are little bezels on the top and the bottom, but then again, I mean, imagine like you're watching this video right now. Imagine if those bezels weren't there. The phone would be so long, it would be much harder to actually play a game like Call of Duty Mobile. And I feel like with these bezels added a bit to the left and the right, it just makes it feel a bit more comfortable. So that's actually a good point to this. And even with vertical games, I like having that little bezel. So like a game like, I don't know, Pokemon Go. That's a perfect example, right? I play that game extensively, but I don't mind having that bezel. It works perfectly fine, it's fine. I don't really see that that's much of an issue at all and then that 144 hertz display that is like the cream of the crop with this phone you will not find a phone other than the red magic 5s that has a faster refresh rate than this phone the red magic 5g is the same as this they're both 144 hertz that's why i said earlier if you already have the red magic 5g you probably don't need the red magic 5s but this phone gives you such smooth gameplay. It is absolutely ridiculous how smooth the game feels. Now, you can compare this with something like an iPhone, even the most recent iPhone 11 Pro Max, for example. Even though you might have 60 FPS for both phones, you still feel like it's smoother on the Red Magic 5S. I don't know why this is the case, it almost feels like they add extra frames in to, you know, make up for the fact that this game is at 60 FPS. And for whatever reason, it makes it seem faster than with something like an iPhone. And I play on an iPhone, I play on this, and I can see a visible difference. You can also adjust the colors. I mean, that's something that you can do with a lot of Android phones, but it just makes it look better than something like an iPhone. The iPhone will have more true colors, but this one, I just like having it a little bit more saturated and it works. It works and it looks a lot better in my personal opinion. I'm always the type of person that likes bright colors. You can probably tell from all the thumbnails that I've used on my past videos. But yeah, again, 144 Hertz display is fantastic. And even outside of Call of Duty Mobile, I mean, dude, like you're just scrolling through the settings or you're scrolling through your apps and stuff like that. It's just such a joy like, you cannot see any, like, lagginess at all. Is that a word? I don't know. But, like, you can't feel it at all. It is just so buttery smooth and just fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it.
And then for Call of Duty Mobile, you can also use the shoulder triggers, which obviously I have not used in this video. I've never been a fan of using shoulder triggers. I've never really played on an Xbox or PlayStation before or any type of console like that where you have a classic controller. So I'm not used to controllers. And when I use a phone that has shoulder triggers up at the top left and right of my screen right now, I don't really use them because I'm not used to something like that. When I play a shooting game, I'm used to touch screen because that's what I began playing shooting games with. So... You can use the shoulder triggers, and for a lot of people, that's actually going to be a massive benefit for them and make their gameplay that much better. It basically means if I press the top left of the phone on the video right now, then it's going to maybe press the aiming button without actually having to press the button on the screen. And then if I press the top right side of the phone on this video, it's going to shoot. And then I can use it more of like a controller that you would be more familiar with with an Xbox or a PlayStation. Now, I'm definitely not going to say that this phone is a light phone. It's a pretty hefty phone. It's, it's pretty heavy. And I think that's because, well, you have that fan and all this other internal stuff. But... You know, honestly, I kind of like that because, like, I feel like this thing has got more weight to it and it feels more solid. Like, if you have something that's so freaking light, it's just, it doesn't feel like it's a nicely built thing. And this phone actually feels very well built. It has a lot of nice premium materials into it. So, I think that's massively important. Now couple of other things you can have up to 256 gigs of internal storage that's plenty enough and then you can have up to 16 gigs of ram that's a lot dude i mean this thing is going to rock for many years perfectly fine with max settings turned on and uh, it's gonna last even longer than something like the original razor phone for example i got that phone a couple of years ago actually three years ago now i think just about and with that original razor phone now at this point it's really starting to lag behind it's starting to have lots and lots of problems and i would go as far to say that i think this phone is going to last you longer than something like that and that razor phone lasted me three years so I mean, that, the fact that something can last even longer than three years, that is a testament to time. That's going to show that this phone is going to be one of the best gaming phones out there for you. Now, you know, there's a couple of other things that I could talk about. I could talk about that cool RGB lighting on the phone and some other stuff like that. But that's not really going to affect your Call of Duty mobile gameplay too much. It's cool and all, but it's just... It's, it's, you know, it's just something that you can turn on and off to your leisure. It's not really going to affect too much. But I can confidently say from the experiences that I have had so far playing Call of Duty Mobile, this is a fantastic gaming phone and you will have absolutely no complaints whatsoever. I think if you go down into the comments and you start to look at some of the people that had the Red Magic 5G, the version before this one, they'll start to say how much they approve of this thing. I think there are very few people out there that will have any big complaints about the Red Magic 5G, maybe just the battery, and maybe just the camera. But only one of them really matters. That's the battery, and that battery will still get you perfectly fine many hours of gameplay before you have to charge. And then you have a very fast charge as well, so you know you can get this thing charged from zero to 100% in, I don't know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. It charges super, super fast. So even though it has a lower end battery compared to some other gaming phones out there, it's going to charge back so quickly that it doesn't even matter. So in the end, it's a fantastic phone. And if you wanted to see my full review going over all of the other stuff like the camera and other things that might not be specific to gaming or Call of Duty Mobile in specifics, um, then you might want to check out the video that I'll link down below in the description. I did a full review on this and I think it turned out fantastic. Um, we're basically out of time though. I know we sort of ended this match that you're seeing in the background in the middle of it. <laughs> I apologize for that. I just don't have anything else I can think of to talk about. Um, if you have any other questions, then you can link them in the comments and then I can try to reply to as many of you guys as, uh, as possible. But please don't ask a question until after you watch the full review because the full review is going to probably answer a majority of the stuff that we're going to talk about. Um, that's it guys. Yeah, I don't really have much else I could possibly say. And yeah, I don't really have much else I could possibly say about the Red Magic 5S. This is arguably my favorite gaming phone now point blank. I haven't tested some of the other most recent ones that have been released, like the Asus ROG Phone 3, for example, but out of the ones that I've tested and I've seen, I think this is my favorite. 
And that's saying a lot considering, like, I literally make gaming videos for a living. So, hey, if, that's, if that says anything, then you might want to consider getting this thing if you're looking for a new gaming phone. Again, as I said, if you already have the Red Magic 5G, you don't need this thing. They're very similar in their specs. This is just like a revamped, refreshed version of the Red Magic 5G. But if you don't have the Red Magic 5G at all, or you're watching this and you maybe got the Red Magic Mars, or you have the original Razer phone, or you have the original Asus ROG phone, then it's time to probably think about getting a new, a new gaming phone, and this might be the one that you want to consider getting. As you saw in the video, I had the lower end model, and that still worked perfectly fine for me. So if you're on a budget, you can still get the 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, and it will work beautifully. Call of Duty Mobile will run so well, and you're going to have a very, very nice time playing with 144 hertz refresh rate. It's just, it's the ultimate gaming experience. I absolutely love this thing, and I cannot recommend it enough. Again, as I said, check out the video link down below in the description. You'll definitely want to watch the full review that I have talking about everything on this phone. And um, if you guys stayed this far, then I would greatly appreciate a like rating. I apologize again for the gameplay not being, you know, the most perfect gameplay possible. As I said, it's very, very awkward how I have myself positioned when I make these types of hand cam videos. Imagine you're sitting there and uh, you have your phone in your hand and you're sitting kind of looking down like this and uh, you can't move your phone because if you move your phone around a lot in your hands then it's not going to look good on the camera you have to keep it stationary while you're sitting there in a very rigid position and it just doesn't really work out too well um, that's why a lot of times it might have seemed that my gameplay was not as good as some of my other videos but do keep in mind that your gameplay is going to be amazing when you do use this thing you're going to get used to it very quickly and uh, yeah again as I said no complaints. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Again, leave a like, subscribe for more Call of Duty content, and I will see you all later.